Today we're gonna make a tie-on face mask bandana thing. So you'll need a template and this is two parts stuck together. So the first part is the face mask and it looks a bit like Shredder from the Ninja Turtles mask. And the second bit is the tie piece. So this should be long enough to go from the front of your ears to the back of your head with a enough space to tie a knot in it. You'll also need some fabric scissors some pins, lots and lots of pins, some fabrics, this is cotton, these are fat quarters that I got from the fabric shop, and you'll also need a needle and thread or a sewing machine depending on how you're going to stitch this together. So the first thing we're going to do is cut out the fabric. So I'm sticking the template on and we're leaving about a quarter of an inch around the template as our seam allowance. Then we're gonna pin that onto the fabric so it's nice and secure and cut it out. And when you're cutting it out, don't forget to leave that quarter inch seam allowance all the way around it. So this is one half of our template, but we obviously need the second half to stitch it to. So I'm using the piece I already cut out as the template for this. So this one already has the seam allowance on it and I'm pinning it right side to right side on the fabric. So you should have the two starry sides or whatever pattern you have on yours facing each other and you should be looking at the ugly side. <laughs> And then we're gonna cut this one out as well. So you should have two pieces and they should be like mirror images of each other. If you're using fabric that has some kind of pattern that should line up or should be symmetrical like stripes or something, make sure you take that into account when you cut it so that it's gonna look right when you stick them together. The stripes would all be facing the same direction. So now we've got our two pieces, it's time to start stitching this together. So starting with the curved edge at the front of the mask, pin those together and it should be right side to right side because we want all the stitching seams to be on the inside of this. Once you've got those pinned together, it's time to stitch along the edge. So I'm stitching about a quarter inch away from the edge of the fabric and just going along that curve. Because this is curved, to make it sit better when we turn it the right side out, I'm clipping the curve. So I'm doing very small cuts along the edge, probably about an inch or two inches apart and make sure these cuts don't go over the stitches or all the way to the stitches. You want it to be just a tiny bit back from the stitch line. Then I'm pressing the seam to one side and this is basically just gonna make it lay flat against the fabric. Otherwise, when we put the mask on, the seam is just gonna be kind of tickling our noses at the front. So I'm folding it over along that stitch line and then very carefully ironing it down. And once you've got it laying pretty flat, just go over it a few times with the iron so it's sitting really, really nice and flat and it's not trying to pop up or anything. Next, we're gonna seam the rest of this. So we're gonna do the top and the bottom. So fold over and pin down about a quarter inch of fabric around the whole border of the mask and stitch that down all the way around. And with the little end pieces, it's a little bit fiddly. I just fold them over and put a few extra stitches in them to hold them down. But if you're neater than me, you could try and make those ends look a bit nicer with maybe, you know, ending up with a curved end or something. But you know, it's, it's the back. No one's gonna see that bit. It's gonna be tied in a knot. And that's it, your mask is complete. Quick disclaimer, this is, you know, a basic dust protection mask. It's essentially gonna give you as much protection as tying a cotton scarf around your face. If you need more dust protection than that, then you know you need a filter or something to wear under this mask. So I hope you like it guys and I will see you next time. Bye.